Today you are going to be making a reflection tessellation. As you know, there are three kinds of tessellations and this one is a little bit trickier than the other two. You will need an A4 paper, pencil, scissors, tape, a thin cardboard, a square post-it, coloring pencils, coloring markers, and if you want, watercolor. Get some pieces of tape ready because you will need to tape this down. I'm using the square post-it to trace a square. So I'm going to take my square. Let's start writing one, two, three and four in each side of the square. From corner to corner, draw a design on one side of the square. Cut the design piece out. Slide across to the opposite side of the square as we did in translation tessellation. But now to have a reflection tessellation we need to flip the cut piece on its vertical axis. Line up the edges, tape the cutout piece Remember, no gap, no overlap. Now let's draw a design on this side to tape the cutout piece on the opposite side. And remember to flip it over when you move it to the other side. this point, start figuring out the image hidden. So let's start tracing. The tricky part about the reflection tessellation is that when you trace around this first one, the template needs to be rotated or reflected to find the puzzle. So each time you move it, you have to flip it over to fit together. You have to flip it over and over again, trying to find the, the, the puzzle and then trace it again. That's the only way you can get the pieces to fit together. Now it's time to see if the shape looks like anything recognizable and see if you can add some details. You could use Google to help you come up with the different ideas for the details you will need to create your design. As you can see, the shapes are reflected. My advice here is to trace with black marker before adding the details. Start coloring using coloring pencils, coloring markers, watercolors. Use the color wheel to decide the color scheme you are going to apply in your design. Do your best and enjoy. 
as you can see I used a lot of shading and I love to use shading in my drawings can you see the ducks look the template that we need to flip over and over again to find the the puzzle and in this work you have to color and add details in each shape you have one week to submit your work take a picture of your template and the artwork and submit them and the most important thing have fun